Greetings, gentle viewers. 18 days until picks leaked. We actually have 18 whole days to get through this dungeon, which means it's really long. So naturally, we're just going to waste some time instead. In the spirit of that, here we are in Shinjuku. We invited Ryuji to come along, but he respectfully declined. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about respectfully. How's that black eye holding up? Very well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one more thing before we get going. Uh, just a bit of a housekeeping. Our plan is we're going to alternate between an episode messing around outside the palace and then episodes in the palace pushing as far as we can so that way there's just a little variety sounds like a plan we're the bittersweet gamer i'm the opinionator and i'm we square and, and this, this is, is mishima. mishima oh very good <laughs> very depressing, isn't it it's been a long time since we've actually got to do an event with mishima so i'm looking forward to it i hope he doesn't embarrass himself again this time <laughs> i heard the rain front is gonna stagnate here for a while oh yeah did you know crime goes up drastically during the rainy season? Then why are you here in the red light district? I'll have to check the fan site and see if anything's happened. You guys have knocked out every request right now, so... <laughs> and here we are back here. We keep coming back to this place. In the, very, in the very beginning, everyone was like, it's so expensive, we can normally never afford it, and it is kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. But by the same token, we keep ending up back here. Well, we can afford it now. <laughs> but Mishima's treating us. What a good guy. <laughs> Today's my treat. Five months of allowance. Phantom Thieves are all about fancy stuff like this, right? That's why we're here. <laughs> oh, and it's just the two of us, so don't be afraid to go all out. What do you want to eat? Well, it's based on time anyway, so it doesn't matter how much he eats. Right, well, he's just saying, pig out. You don't have oh. to worry about, oh, you know, being here judged. Since, yeah. Let's see. Uh, nice organic veggies sound great. Uh, personally, I would flush desserts down toilets, so I like <laughs> carrot cake. Cheesecake is fine. But steak. Steak sounds real good. I mean, this is Japan. You don't get steak that often. <laughs> you know, go for the steak! Doesn't it? <laughs> Meat's perfect for tough guys like us! Ugh, ugh! That's, hey, I'm the caveman here! That, that's how you do it, right? Ugh. Man, what a man. I really like Mishima, but come on, it's fun to tease him. Yeah. By the way, this place is all you can eat. We so, know. So let's make sure we get our money's worth. 50 plates! We can't tell him we've been Actually. here before. It'd break his heart. <laughs> anyway, I posted on the fan site that I had connections to you guys. The fandom really ate that up. Also, the police came to my house. <laughs> or they wouldn't, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, they just keep ignoring Gino oh, and the others, go. but blah, I've, I've talked about that enough. <laughs> harped on for 30 episodes at this point. You've harped on more than a string orchestra, okay? <laughs> Don't worry, though. I didn't say anything that would point to my real identity. I did end up talking about how expensive it is to run our little organization, though. See, that's why we're here. I'm treating you, but I'm also going to be kind of shaking you down for cash <laughs> for me to help run the site. Patreon, see? <laughs> the donations I got after that were pretty generous, to say the least. But I guess our loving sponsors just wanted to show some support. Not bad for strategic management, huh? That's pretty good. Stop this at... Why would I say anything other yeah. than... Dude, awesome! That's why we trust you to do this, because you're part of the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, he's an integral part, kind of. Yes. Not, not everyone can just run around into other dimensions and fight monsters, but there's other parts of an organization. Well, I mean, Mishima is basically managing the Phantom Thieves' public image. Like, think about what would happen to the Phantom Thieves without Mishima. Yeah. Especially now that the thieves have been, you know, they've been talked about on TV and our reputation's only going to grow, be it a good reputation or a bad reputation, without Mishima... We wouldn't be able to go into mementos because the public knowledge of us would be drastically reduced. Right. I mean, it would still build up over time. But without Mishima... Uh, the police and the media would be able to completely frame the narrative and it would be harder to right. get any supporters at all. Right. So, I mean, that's extremely important. It was a piece of cake for someone as skilled as me. I just thought about doing, like, the flip hair back with my hand, but yeah. I don't have any hair, so I can't do that. Would you like me to do it for you? Please. Very good. There you go. <laughs> Let's take advantage of this windfall as much as we can. Your donation money at work, folks! <laughs> it's a business meeting. 
It is, actually. Yeah. Oh, and it's okay to consider this meal an organizational expense, right? See? <laughs> Write it off on your taxes. We have been talking about business. Hey, wait a minute. I've seen in the news that using donations for stuff other than what's publicized is a serious crime. Food is definitely an acceptable business expense, but can the same be said of an expensive buffet? What makes it different? It's a, still oh. food. The more I think about this whole thing, the less I think we should use the donations here. He is going to shake us down, isn't he? Huh, I guess I'll end up paying for it after all. I mean, people would get mad at a politician for using tax money for personal affairs. The difference with that, though... Yeah, but this is a business meeting. Yeah, the difference is, you can't not pay taxes, but nobody makes you donate. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not saying that it's okay to blow donations in a place like this, because I initially mocked the idea, right? Right. But it's not the same category as, as Mishima's analogy here. The same probably applies to the Phantom Thieves. I guess returning the money would be the best choice. Or just use it for, like, domain fees or whatever. Use it for the site. Running a website's yeah. incredibly expensive. Uh-huh. Although, thinking about it, how credible, or how credibly would you be able to use this as a tax write-off? I mean, I don't know Japanese tax law. I mean, I barely even know anything well, about U.S. Well, if he's doing this anonymously, law. like, not with his own... Look. Well, I mean, he's still the administrator of the site, so he can still write it off as a... Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, as a, like, I guess that's side, true. As a site administrator. All right, but we I mean, just don't know. Wouldn't that be kind of weird, though? Like, writing... A high schooler writing off tax... Does he pay? I guess everyone pays taxes. If, if, you, if his income's enough, he'll have to. I, mean, I guess I he'll have to file taxes. What I'm saying is... He'll be like, ah, yes... Uh, Phantom Thieves Maintenance <laughs> right, as a write-off. Just what you all tuned in for, tax discussion. <laughs> Enough of that! I... I don't... I yeah. don't think... I, I think we should keep it. I don't think it's wrong. Exactly. No. No, we need to focus on keeping the image of the Phantom Thieves as clean as possible. Yeah, but they donated it of their own free will. They donated it to help run the site. Yeah. So maybe not use it here, I guess. Which right. Which is kind of dumb, uh, but well, he you needs know, to use it to, own, run the, to run the site. He's got his own morals. I think I'll return the money and thank the fandom for their generosity. They'll love that. It might be a waste of some nice resources, but it's all good as long as it boosts our popularity, right? I suppose in the end, that was that's worth it. Man, maybe I was born to do this strategy stuff. I'm honestly getting pretty good at it. You want to be a politician? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guy I can introduce you to. Don't worry. I'm still gathering info on the forum, too. I actually have a few solid leads right now. Four more mementos requests. Everything so far has been close to home, but these next ones are going to blow your socks off. Oh. So if we're returning the money, how are we going to cover our meal? Didn't you spend a lot of time in mementos recently? <laughs> don't you have a whole lot of money? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I'm personally flat broke. I can't afford to dump out $140 on a meal for two. Well, we got to hang out in a cool place. Let's just leave. More texting in class. Makoto, you okay? Has Kaneshiro threatened you or anything? Man, even the student council president is going to be wasting class time texting now. <laughs> she's probably so far ahead it doesn't matter. Well, she's, a, she's also in the next year up for oh, me, these guys. He's been demanding money, but I chose to... But I choose to ignore those messages. Is that okay? Have any scary men shown up at your house? No, my sister intimidates them. Yeah, they can't even <laughs> show up here at her house, right? <laughs> Besides, isn't just sending those messages enough to get the point across? She doesn't yeah. need to respond. Yeah. Kaneshiro still has the photographs in his possession, remember? Perhaps that advantage is why he doesn't feel any urgency to act. So do you think we're safe for now, then? I, I mean, yeah. He, he even said last time, he even said, normally I give you a month, but there's so many of you here, you should be able to do that in less than a month. Yeah. So that's like his M.O., He's not going to alter his tactics. Right. So, yeah, we're not we're going to be fine because we're going to kick his sorry butt before the time <laughs> runs out. Kick his piggy rear. You're wrong. 
Just like Yusuke said, those pictures are bad news for us. If only we had a hacker character who could, like, hack it and delete it and- Oh, wait, we haven't gotten her yet. Well, it's not going to matter if- <laughs> We will need to change Kaneshiro's heart as soon as possible. Agreed. I will do everything I can to help. Like, punch him in the face. Repeatedly. For real? Yes! We're hanging out with An, and we're getting a gift so we can go see Shiho in the hospital! Woo! Hooray! Been really worried about her. Mm-hmm. Hey, I have some big news. The double cream from that famous crepe shop is half off right now! <laughs> I've completely forgotten about Shiho! Hmm. No, but... Yeah, probably not. I probably can't take a crepe into the hospital, huh? I'm, I'm pretty sure she's on a pretty strict diet until she recovers. I really want one, though. Do you think maybe <laughs> Shiho would want one, too? <laughs> I, the sweetest of teeth. I bet she does. Yeah? Do it, yes. In that case, I'll buy two. Oh. Though, I guess she might have rehab today, too. They probably wouldn't even let her eat it. Um. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Shiho started her physical rehab. She pushed it up ahead of schedule. That's, Thank God. That's good, because we really didn't know how injured yeah, she was. Yeah, yeah. There was no way she was not horribly, horribly injured. injured. And, I mean, she's an athlete, but she was not in peak condition when she did that. No, and it doesn't matter how good your condition is, it'll keep you... Like, we talked about it at the time when she jumped. It can help keep her alive. Yeah, yeah. But can, will she be able to walk again? Hopefully. Hopefully so. Her mindset's also a big deal about it, too. A big part of it. Yeah, it is. I think it's because I told her about how I want to get stronger. She insulted me a lot, too. <laughs> she said she was going to start working hard, too. You know, now that I think about it, I kind of blew it off when you said that about her mindset. Mm -hmm. But she also has that disciplined mindset for how you would train right. athletically. So right. that would that would really, really apply to And me. with Kamoshida being taken down... Yeah, no, I was just talking about, like, the sportsy mindset. But that, too, is yeah, an obvious yeah. huge deal. So anyway... I haven't actually seen any of her rehab sessions yet, though. I bet it'd be kind of embarrassing. Would you really want me to watch? I'm kind of concerned, actually, because if all of these confidant things are about corruption... Hmm... Yeah. Surely not. I mean, we saw a little bit of it with the modeling agency, but it hasn't come up yet again. Hmm... Oh, hold on. Surely, surely, after all that's happened to Shiho... There, it's not going to be. Well, it, it's not going to be a Shiho gets screwed over in the hospital rehab. I think you're right because I think her modeling agency is calling her right now. What now? Oh, that's not good. Sorry. Sorry, something just came up. It was from my agency. Speak of the devil. I talk about it and they just. <laughs> models are the devil? No, 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 no. One of the models didn't show for a magazine shoot they're doing. They're looking to wrap soon, so I'm gonna head over now to fill well, in. Let's go. It's pretty close, though. Want to come with? Actually, let's just go. I'll race you there. I don't know. I've been training with Ryuji. That sounds pretty fun, actually. We arrived at the meeting spot. Looks like they're having a pre-shoot briefing. This is not what I was expecting. Hello, who's this? On Senpai, I'm so pumped to get to work with you today. After I saw you in last year's show, I'm just... Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> um, it really wasn't a big deal. That fashion show was tiny. By the way, I'm Mika, and please, no honorifics. I might be older, but you have loads more experience on Senpai. All right, Mika. It feels a little weird saying it like that. Oh, and you don't need to use Senpai with me. Anyway, um, it's nice to meet you. Likewise, Anchan. <laughs> You're so nice. Hey, can you teach me how to be a better model? You know, your everyday routine, sketches. That stretches. What? Huh? Routines? You mean like singing in the shower? Oh, oh, is that all you do? Then what kind of stuff do you eat? Pre I want to be exactly like you in every way. I've been looking all over for a place to import some organic green almonds. Eat lots of sweets, crates, <laughs> cakes. Plus, Puddings. I'm getting super tired of eating quinoa. Yes, it's quinoa, Billy. You identified right. a food! Do I need to, like, boil it in hard water or something? Mm -hmm. Um, almonds? I only ever eat those when they're covered in chocolate. Really, it's a mystery how she keeps her figure. And hard water? Isn't it kind of 
tough to boil ice? I don't know what quinoa is. Dots. <laughs> Everything I know is a lie. Do you weigh yourself? Oh, of course. Once a year for the health examinations at school. That's not what she meant. More dots. So you're going to keep it all a secret from me, huh? No, I think her secret is a combination of good genetics and positive attitude, plus she's generally physically active. Yeah. So I mean, fighting monsters in another dimension will she, burn calories. She just doesn't stress out about it, and she's young, so she can get away with that. I get it. I guess it's hard trusting someone you just met. Oh, um... Th th that's not it. I just don't really think about that stuff. It has nothing to do with not trusting you. It's more that modeling is just like a hobby for me. What? An senpai, that's so horrible. I guess she's really jealous. That would make sense. An has mentioned before she doesn't want to be a professional model. Um, it's not that she doesn't enjoy it, but right. she's never wanted to just throw herself into it. So she's just doing it for fun on the side. Yes, and and to because meet, of her get looks, to her she's got an edge over regular-looking people like Mika. Right, and the thing <laughs> is, is even though she's just not taking it seriously, she doesn't have to do anything and can just keep up the figure and do really well at it. And a lot of people are going to resent that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's kind of natural and it's sort of difficult to deal with, mm -hmm. but it. Everybody's kind of run into situations like that. What do you mean you don't care about modeling for these guys? You said that, huh, Sean? Wait, I... I love this magazine. Everyone tries so hard to make sure their product is the best. Mika, Sean, just calm down. Don't worry, we all know that you're giving it your all here. But you guys work so much harder than me. I'm still the one getting comforted. Wait, oh, hold on. I just got a big victim complex. Anshan, the truth is, we had both you and Mika-chan come down as substitutes for a missing model. We wanted both of you on the cover, but if you're not really interested... Hey, I didn't... Don't worry. I... I can do it alone. I read the concept... I read the concept docs on my way here. Hey. Oh, you! <laughs> you faker. You're so mean, Anchan. Do you really hate me that much? <laughs> Keep it civil, you two. Anyway, you good to go, Mika-chan? Sorry about all this, Anchan. We won't be needing you today. Uh, we'll reimburse your transportation expenses, though, and even throw in a little extra for your trouble. Oh, but I just got screwed over hard! Wow! <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> I really screwed that up. Oi! Yeah, guess, yeah, she got you good. Yeah. But maybe it's because deep down I'm actually not that in, not that invested in modeling. She sees straight through that. <sighs> anyway, I totally ruined the shoot. Regardless of that, that was still really crummy of her. Oh yeah, yeah. But still, wasn't Mika's fake crying pretty incredible? Uh, uh... Mm. No, 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 no. That. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it had grace. It's not exactly how I'd put it, but... Oh, maybe that's what I'm missing. If there's one fault that An has, I don't know that grace would necessarily be it. I don't know, though. I think I'm pretty good at fake crying myself. I know the perfect technique. Oh, I see! That's what's going to lead to crocodile tears. Oh, yeah, because your next <laughs> ability is crocodile tears. That's amazing. Okay. How do you do it? Tell me more. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, that's the top one. Yeah, that seems like getting enthusiastic. Yeah, yeah. Listen carefully. The key is you don't actually cry. <gasps> I mean, that's why it's fake. Yeah. Either way, I think I'll be able to use that ability to our advantage in the metaverse! <laughs> I'll turn my failure today into positive energy going forward! Well, you can't curb her enthusiasm! Under no circumstances can you curb her enthusiasm. <laughs> That's right. awesome! Speaking of the metaverse, I'm gonna try super hard in my work with the Phantom Thieves, too! But for now, I should go stop by and see Shiho at the hospital. Can, can we come, please? I know you really wanted to come, but no. Thanks. Oh. Bye. 
I guess it wouldn't be appropriate for us to show up at this point in time. No, I don't think I don't think it would make Shiho anything other than happy. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, we are still classmates. Ah, you're back. Hey. And on top of that, we're on like the, the thieves are on's best friends. Yeah, yeah. Like for real. So why would she no, no, ever think saying. poorly of Ann's friends? That popular fortune teller must be the same one that predicted horrible misfortune for Yuji, right? Curse you, fortune teller! And she was right. She must have some kind of trick. Maybe we should check it out. I'm getting the subtle hint that maybe we can initiate a confidant event with the fortune teller right now. Huh. I have really? no idea where I got it from. It's just pulled it from the ether. Surely not. You're right. I'm just hoping for a coincidence. So, Billy. Yeah? You, uh, you think this guy, think we ought to recruit him? What possible purpose could we have for recruiting this drunken south? Well, he's pretty funny. Yeah, but so is Ryuji. Hey! Now, that may be true, but we can take him into palaces with us. Why? Negotiation. How would that? I don't understand your reasoning. Don't you think this guy would be amazing at negotiations? I think that the shadows would be far too uncomfortable to disagree with him. Yeah, that's my point. Oh, mm, I see, I see. Junk, what are you talking about? I'm as sober as a daisy. Oh, I've never really thought of daisies as particularly sober hey, or drunk, but... You can tell, right? You do appear to be a great deal more sober than usual, but <laughs> I don't really care. Aw, oh, don't you be like that. <gasps> Here, I'll do a measure of my impression. Impressions. Oh, goody, who's it gonna be? You're not gonna be anybody's mom this time, are you? This one's a catchy coon. Boy detective. Hi, my name is Goro. Goro, Roro, 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 Next time, tell me it's just an interview. You could have told me you weren't setting me up with a girl. It wasn't a date. I look like an idiot getting all dressed up for that. I thought you were my friend. I don't want to hear it, Mishima. You got off better than me. You just pick on me like everybody else, and you shut up, Yuji. You're not even here. I'm everywhere. And that oya son, she's the devil incarnate. It was horrible. <laughs> I, I can only imagine. She's pretty, but super scary, too. Though the drag queen she hangs out with is even scarier. Mishima, is that why you're here in Shinjuku? But anyway, I did my best to promote the Phantom Thieves. Remember that when you're reading a glowing article about you guys. Okay? See ya. So we were gonna hang out with Mishima again instead, but he blew us off, so we may as well get this started. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's that fortune teller everyone talks about. Are you gonna get your fortune read? You should do what your cat says. Oh, hey, he's good. Oh, hello. Please take a seat. Hello. Hello there. This is your first time here, yes? It's not often that I get young men stopping by my stand. I don't believe you. <laughs> Especially here, which they've already indicated is a red light district. <laughs> you should have all kinds of men stopping by. Anyway, my name is Chihaya Mifune. I will be reading your fortune today. Chihaya Mifune! What a, what a name! <laughs> you can begin by telling me your name. I know I'm supposed to be a psychic and everything, but yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you already know it? I'm that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could attempt to define it if you'd like. Let's begin with your last name. Oh, she's really gonna do it, huh? Is it Yamamoto? No! Or maybe Mishima? No. Or perhaps Nakamura? Hey! Hmm, this may take longer than I expected. A actually, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that's just in there like Smith, because Nakamura is not, it's like a really common name. Huh! So that could have either, either they'll put in whatever, like you know, uh, if her uh -huh. last name was like Stuffy Chicken Butt, <laughs> then I doubt she'd be like, or perhaps Stuffy Chicken Butt, she could have just been saying like Jones, Williams, yeah. Smith. Ah, Jiro Nakamura-san. I see, your name is quite lucky. That aside, what type of consultation can I interest you in today? How do you do this? Psychic no powers. Okay, well give me the full package then. I'm sure your psychic powers will somehow be useful, because that's how this stuff works. 
Very well. I suppose the life of a high schooler is difficult after all. Now then, let's start with an initial reading to test the waters of your faith. Here we go. Oh, divine power, bring forth this boy's fortune. Goose Fraba! <laughs> is that how you have to do it every time? Yes, it's in the rule book. Your first card is... Hmm, I see. As for the second... Oh! Next is... Yes? Whoa! Oh! Yes, I've seen everything. You're the leader of the Phantom Thieves, aren't you? A stream of light obscuring the sun, like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. I see. There seems to be new wealth in your future and your past. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the past. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do it again. Your financial fortune is looking good today. This wealth of which I speak will come from your house. What does that mean? I'm going to give you the biggest uh, allowance ever. Head home without detour, and precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. Well, I guess I don't have anything else to do, so I may as well, but that's chump change. Are you sure about this? Yes. I can only speak of what I saw. Fate is absolute. There is no changing it, no matter how hard you struggle against it. I completely disagree with you. Um... But what is this? How strange, Nakamura-san. The general flow of your future seems to indicate... Combat with monsters? Ruin? And an inmate, locked away in a lonely cell. Wow, you actually can do this, can't you? You seem to be a good person, Nakamura-san. But are you perhaps mixed up with the wrong crowd? Um... I if think by which you mean... Shido and them? Kind of, yes! <laughs> yeah, I guess Kaneshido isn't exactly good company, but yeah. I don't think he is. Beyond that, my... It seems continuing on your current path will lead to your death. Oh, great! That's awesome! <laughs> um, you got any tips? Since you do seem to know what you're talking about. I mean, you know, you also predicted the... Uh, misfortune of Ryuji, so... <laughs> I cannot offer advice to that end. That's impossible. Hmm. If the divination is coming to me this clearly, the truth of it is simply undeniable. So you're a determinist, are you? So thanks! You're just like, okay, looks like you're on the path to death and that cannot be altered. Have a nice day! <laughs> you are running a business, you understand. Maybe this is why men don't come up here. Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. I need a donation of a hundred million! <laughs> <laughs> All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. With its power in your control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. Maybe you're actually a decent salesman after all. <laughs> I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. I can't remember the name of that sales technique, but I mean, she just applied it straight up, <laughs> right out of the book. You see, the stone itself is imbued with an aura of joy that will sap away all the horrible energy surrounding you. I find you completely credible. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its power in moonlight every three days. You're beginning to kind of make me second guess you. <laughs> what do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen. Not bad for an item that can change your very future, yes? You don't get many sales though, do you? I don't have to. This seems suspicious. <laughs> It's legitimate, I promise. How can you prove that? Well, I guess you kind of already have, so... So, you really don't want it? No, I'll buy it! What a shame it would be to see the flames of you snuffed out so soon. You... How dare you say that?! Well, come see me again if you change your mind. I can really help you, if you'd like. Well, good thing we have all this money. Ah, you're back. Oh, you're home. I've been waiting for you. Here's 5,000 yen. Oh, the chief. <laughs> the chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Jiro, how's your pocket money situation been looking? I'm broke. <laughs> no, actually, I am absurdly wealthy and probably have more than you in terms of pocket change. How the hell did you manage that? Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Fine. You're hopeless. Kind of the opposite of that, isn't it, sir? Here. For real? 
What, is this 5,000 yen? I won some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing my winnings. Hey, thanks. I mean, I feel really guilty. Do you, do you need any money to help run this place? You can charge me for some coffee or whatever. You want me to, like, invest in the store? I'll do it. I'm... Thanks. Oh, no, thanks, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> See, I can be nice sometimes. I know it. The rest anyway, is on you. make sure you close up the shop like always. Yes, sir. Hey. Hey, so... Does this mean that that fortune teller was right? Oh, no, no. No one wants to ever believe the fortune teller trying to sell an expensive relic. No, it's fine. I mean, anybody could have guessed Nakamura as a last name eventually, <laughs> but... <laughs> Creepy. That's incredible. She even got the amount spot on. Actually, that is pretty impressive. Yeah. But obviously, she does in fact possess supernatural powers, so... No, well, actually, I just happened to know everything about you, and I saw him at the lottery the other day. <laughs> Are you following me? Maybe that Chihaya lady can seriously read into the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say you're going to die? What if you never actually formed this confidant link? Would you just fall over dead on 7-5 or something like that? <laughs> this game would be unbeatable. Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. Maybe I can have her read my compatibility fortune with... I'm sorry I don't read the palms of cats. No, um, never mind. <laughs> it seems like Chihaya Mifune can actually see into the future. Maybe I should go back and have her read my fortune again. And there's this extremely expensive holy stone, too. She said it costs 100,000 yen. But that's actually pretty reasonable. A really good trip into a dungeon will net you 100,000 yen. Yeah, that's true. Just that without this mementos farming, we wouldn't have been able to buy any gear otherwise. And, you know, just randomly asking a high school student, uh, yeah, would you like to buy this for 100,000 yen? That's a bit much, I feel. Yes, it is. So, you know, while I was watching an earlier episode, I noticed on rainy days, it kind of looks like there's a face in the windows, doesn't it? I suppose it kind of does. I mean, now that I've sort of seen it, I mm -hmm. can't really... Unsee it? Yeah, like, those are the eyes right there, mm -hmm. and that's a mouth at the bottom. Yeah. And it looks like it's got this kind of creepy alien face or maybe like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle face. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe that's just me reading into it too much like a Rorschach test, but you see it too, so I don't well, know. And you are a big horror fan, so it, it would make sense for mm -hmm. you to try and find scary things everywhere. That That is kind of how it works. You know, if you're a, a, a fan of comedy, you try and find the funny in everything. That, well, you know, I don't... I don't find giant robots all over the place, do I? Mm -hmm. I wish I did! <laughs> I'm sure you look for them! Please hear me out. I have to say, even though we're hanging out with Yusuke today because Baton Pass mm -hmm. and what was it? Rising... Rising... Slash? Rising Taku! No, it was Rising Slash. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that requires Baton Pass. And this way, Yusuke will be awesome in combat. I mean, he already was, but even more awesomer. Uh, you need Baton Pass these days. Yeah. Uh, so that's good. But I feel bad because we have been consistently blowing off Takemi. And we really, really need to get Takemi up. Anyway. Her, yeah, her next level is going to give us some accessories and hopefully the one we're looking for. Probably not, Speaking though. of horror... That is... How's that for a Rorschach test? <laughs> so, speaking of giant robots, it kind of reminds me of uh, the the Vogler sphere from Giant <laughs> Robo. I'm just saying. Looks like a giant eye to me. Yeah, the Vogler sphere oh, from yeah, Giant Oh, yeah, you're Robo. right. <laughs> Gino, this is the completed form of my draft earlier. I would like your honest opinion, if you would. Oh, I see you've already given it to me. The Vogler sphere, eh? <laughs> Burn it with fire. It's enigmatic. Yeah, that's, that's probably what he wants to hear. Yes. Oh. Nah, that's fine. Um, I mean, joking aside, though, that's really awesome. Mm hmm mm hmm I do not paint for the sake of others' comprehension. <laughs> Regardless, this is how I choose to interpret the idea of desire. Huh. Again, just like this Vogler sphere. <laughs> Indeed. It is a foul charm held deep within the abyss of the heart. Hmm. To be honest, I believe my ability to capture desire so elegantly is all due to our mementos foray. Where well, it we kind of puts desire in a negative light, don't you think? Like it's not right to want something? 
Like, you don't want to get obsessed with desire, but without desire, mankind wouldn't really Yeah, we would evolve. be we would be nothing without yeah. without desire. Of course we want things. Yeah. Of course we want things badly. It's obsessing with it. And of course yeah. we act upon our desires. Yeah. Um But that doesn't seem excessively negative to me. Speaking of acting on desires, our cat wants out. One moment. Right, so no, as really, you were saying. Really, I think it I think it's quite beautiful. It's like, no, no, I, yeah, I agree with the painting being beautiful. I mean his interpretation. Like the way he said that desire was a dark charm in the depths of your soul, so to speak. Well, if you reach too deeply, that's when you, be, like, reach too deeply inside the desire. That's the point at which you begin to obsess over it and it begins to become something ah, negative. Okay, I gotcha. Um... You, I mean, obviously, desire is something that's dangerous, but we it's like would be like a swirling vortex that can pull you in. Right, but you can also, if you're skilled enough, sort of ride it, utilize yeah. it yourself. Yeah. Okay, now I got you. I understand what you're saying, and what he's saying. You just don't want to go all the way down. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop staring at it, but this is actually a really cool way. <laughs> I've grown to understand the intricacies of the heart in a way I had once thought impossible. To tell the truth. Gino, I intend on submitting this piece to an upcoming public art exhibition. Ooh. That's a really good idea. Nobody has seen the abyss of the heart in such a raw manner before. The discourse will be fascinating. <laughs> More importantly, it shall be the spark that revitalizes my slumbering art career. Awesome. I can't wait. That's really cool. I mean, he's talented. Yes! He needs to, especially now that he's no longer under Mararame's thumb. He needs to break away and get his own identity, art-wise. Yeah, and he's he can do it. I understand why he's in a slump, of course, yeah. but looks like he's on his way to pushing past it. Mm -hmm. Especially now that he can use Rising Slash with the baton pass. <laughs> Indeed, I expect you to accompany me for the moment it is finally revealed to the general public. You are, after all, responsible for it. In more ways than one. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this will be a most sensational experience for those who opt to undergo it. A raw, unbridled look into the depths of the human psyche. And I was the one who was able to bring it to life, all thanks to your assistance. Thank you. You have my sincerest gratitude. Fighting those slimes really just woke it up within me. All, they, all that happened was... Mabufu, they all froze, and then they all exploded. <laughs> but, I mean, if that's what inspires you, who knows what's going to inspire you, right? If that was so easy to pin down, right? I mean, heck, you had a life-changing moment while biking home in the rain, didn't that's you? That's correct! Hmm. I deeply anticipate the public reaction at the exhibition. But for now, I should be going. My apologies for disturbing. Disturbing? Uh, could you please assist me in carrying this home? This is a little big for me to carry by myself. Also, it's raining. Oh, God. <laughs> Help. Um, Throw a tarp over it, use earlier, it as an umbrella. <laughs> earlier, you know, you had mentioned we, where we kind of joked about a Rorschach test. Uh-huh. Wouldn't it make sense that you would see that as frightening then? Yeah. I never thought about it like that. But what does it say that I would see that as beautiful? Oh, the robot connection. Never mind. Yeah, duh. <laughs> Didn't I just say you were looking for robots and stuff? Ah, you're back. Hey, you see the article? Who are you again? I haven't seen you in so long. I just occasionally hear these strange howls in your voice that come from my phone or something, though. <laughs> Shut up. What? Is it about us? Not really. It's mostly an interview with the Shujin kid. Uh, don't you think Mishima counts, man? Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamoshida case. He didn't actually give his name, or she covered up his name. So, so Ryuji being the moron. Dude, Gino didn't even tell him? Come on! That's what it said. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think this Boy M is Mishima? Hey, maybe I'm not as dumb as I thought. It could. <laughs> now, now, now Jiro. I understand that lately, I might have undergone an experience that might skew my, my, my perception of gender. But I assure you, Makoto is not a boy, despite how she acts. Probably. Guess it might be him after all. What do you mean, despite how she acts? Like in the metaverse, all like, raw smash? I mean, that fan side thing's been a huge help too. 
It's probably fine to leave him be. He ain't doing us any harm. No, but he's, the, he's basically what? one of the thieves, man. Come on. Yeah. Is Jiro the only one he talks to? Apparently. He should they be like at their meetings. They've hung out before. See you later. They all know it's him. Yeah. That article. Do you think the reporter we met at Crossroads could have written it? Morgana? I should check the article Ryuji mentioned. This might open up the confidant with Oya. Seriously, Morgana, you have, have even less excuse to not put it together. You've been with me the entire time. I'm a cat. I mean, I'm not a cat. I don't know. This article might be useful for us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of just asking him to explain it, but I guess he's going to either way. Right. It should be it should be useful to the thieves because it's showing how horrible the things that Kamoshida did were. It's exposing yeah. it. Yeah. And so Kamoshida was the first person to receive a calling card from the thieves, so this only helps yeah, yeah. their their uh, public image. Should increase the approval rating. If the palace ruler sees it and his cognition of the Phantom Thieves changes... What? Hey, Jito, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, what's what that about? What is that about a palace ruler seeing it? Does does he mean Kaneshiro? I mean, presumably, I guess what he's saying is, and I don't want this game to devolve into a Bill and Ted-style cognition tricks. Excellent! <laughs> but if the, if the palace ruler becomes terrified of the Phantom Thieves, for instance, mm -hmm. then not only would security be tighter, but uh, they might... They, they might, like, melt before them in a different yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's what he's talking about. You should go and try to get her to write some more articles about the Phantom Thieves. Huh. It really is how you're gonna, how we're going to open up the next one. Okay, then. Well, I don't appear to be able to read a newspaper <laughs> or have access to one or any magazines. And it doesn't seem to be online, so... And taking the time to read takes time, so why not go straight to the source? Miss Oya, tell me about this article. Hmm? Hey, where's my glass? Didn't I order a refill? How much did I drink today? What time is it? Ah, who cares? Wait, I care. <laughs> What's going on? Um, what time is it? Is that cat talking? If this is what you have to do to uh, maintain uh, your your stress level and uh, professional contacts in order <laughs> to effectively do your job, so be it. <sighs> She's so drunk that she hasn't even noticed you're here. <laughs> if we have her write articles, it'll have an effect on the metaverse. We might be able to use her if we do it right. Should we try forming a deal with Oya? What else? I mean, yeah, sure, come I, on. I mean, it kind of seemed like we already did, yeah. right? Right. Keep in mind that she's drunk. <laughs> now, do a good job negotiating, okay? She's use e what I've taught you well. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> even though she's drunk, that means that she's either going to be a much more skilled negotiator than normal or a complete pushover. One of the two extremes, okay? <laughs> How did I get here? Hey, Lalachan, are you sure this isn't just water? <laughs> she's pretty crafty. <laughs> she looks she looks so mad. <laughs> if you're trying to rip me off, I'm going to reveal all your secrets in a feature article. Jesus, she's an angry drunk. <laughs> one of these, huh? One of these. Please, have a seat. <laughs> so, what's up? Got anything new on the Phantom Thieves? Let's not say it right in front of Lala Escargot, though, eh? Or maybe you're just falling in love with me, hmm? Um, although, as I understand it, wasn't Yukiko your favorite character from That's Persona correct. 4? And, That's you, and you know, Oya has, has a great voice actress, so... Uh, she even kind of talks like her, because the same voice actress. Makes perfect sense. I have Phantom Thieves news! For real? You came all this way just to tell me? Yes, very Thank specifically. God. 
My publisher just assigned me to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves. That's why I'm drinking so much. What a coincidence! Man, this will really help me out. That's like winning the lottery! <laughs> I wish something like this would happen to me! Right? Are you seriously going to use this child as a source of information? Oh my god. Uh, don't be such a killjoy! These kids nowadays know about things we adults don't have access to. I recognize Lala's voice actress? Actor? Yeah? Uh, Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Brothers. She has a super deep voice. Okay. I know nothing about this. Besides, what's most important is that I now have a reliable third-party source for my stories. A high school student! Well, she just got a... I already gave her a that great tip true. for a that great article that okay. got her assigned to be the beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves, which is a topic of interest. Okay. I mean, all the evidence supports... I don't need to harp on that yeah, That's yeah, like yeah. my happily harping xylophone, harp <laughs> harpophone or something like Harpsichord. that. Harpsichord? Yeah. Whatever. So, what do you want from me this time? Information about someone? Cold hard cash? I'm, I wouldn't mind some cold hard cash, but I'd prefer the information, or I'd prefer to basically bribe you into writing positive articles about us <laughs> so as to shadily manipulate public opinion. It helps, of course, that the articles will be true. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with admitting your biases if you're open about it. That's fair. Everybody can be as biased about whatever as they want to be, especially if they don't lie. <laughs> well, not going to say it in front of Lala. Yeah, I'll let you know later about that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Lucky me! My very own golden goose just appeared! See? You win, I win, we both win, so let's rock! Now I can take it easy. Maybe I'll take a little vacation with all my free time. A vacation to a bar called Crossroads! <laughs> and then I can even go next door and play pachinko and waste all my money! <laughs> As if. Okay. Just tell me. Last time it was info on Kaneshiro, right? Man, she really is scary. Right? The office has been a buzz lately. I think it's Kaneshiro related. Well, then tell me more. Something's fishy. The bad guys are bad. <laughs> what a very... Uh, intellectually sharp statement? Well, it, it's, it's, I think it's a compelling argument. Yeah. Their targets are awful. But I think I'm going to start with, I support them. Yeah. Support the Phantom Thieves? Uh, yeah. But I see what's going on here. A hardcore Phantom Thieves fanboy. Huh. Uh, that's with the PH. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm not gonna let you use this kid so you can take a vacation. Hey, thanks for looking out for me, Miss Lala, but don't worry, I got this. <laughs> I'm glad that you are definitely taking care of the miners at your bar, though. <laughs> vacation? Oh, I was just kidding. I'm conducting a private investigation during my off hours. No one at work knows about it. Can't you tell when I'm doing a sarcastic drunk versus regular drunk? Well, frankly, no, I can't. You are completely inscrutable, my dear. Don't tell me you're... Hey, how about we do this? She she is kind of a killer, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, she's completely in control of this situation. Yeah. This, this is clearly why she's a good reporter. You supply me with info on the Phantom Thieves, and I'll write articles based on what you tell me about them. I wonder if she's going to write specific articles about the members of the Phantom Thieves. Surely not. That wouldn't even make sense, would it? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That'd be pretty funny, though. You know, the Phantom Thieves who you love oh so much. <laughs> okay, honey. You can just take oh, so your much. own... You can just take your fist, okay? Or take your hand, ball it into a fist, and then punch yourself in the face. Don't make fun of me! Deal? Write something good, dang it! I will, I will. But the quality of the articles will depend on the info you provide me. Aren't you, basi aren't you basically being like a slave to my own wishes while insulting me, though? All right, then. 
It's a deal. Ha! I got the better of you! <laughs> I can create a lot of positive PR for the Phantom Thieves, so be sure to give me some good scoops. Whoops. How did the Phantom Thieves have such good PR? You must have had someone who was a reporter! Now look, you should know who the reporter who's writing things about the Phantom Thieves is. Yeah, that should be pretty obvious. Your reputation skyrocketed after a certain point. It's unnatural how much your actions were publicized. Then again, you could also, you assume that other major newspapers, because Oya worked for Mayasa, it's apparently a major daily publication. Yeah. Other daily publications would, as the Phantom Thieves became more a Start part of the public, it, yeah. more a part of the public consciousness, also had... Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no guarantee that Oya is even the first beat reporter for the Phantom Thieves, so... I mean, pinning one down would be hard. Yeah. Did you have an inside man in the media? Someone who could manipulate information for you? What do you have to say to that? The same thing I always have to say, ma'am. Nothing. Why don't you just do a little bit of investigation into everybody who writes Phantom Thieves articles that are positive? I bet. I bet she already knows and she's trying to get him to admit it. Thou, That's probably it. Because she's demonstrated that her, while interrogating Zito, uh -huh. she has a completely different uh, style of, of talking and way right. of seeming to think about things uh -huh. than she does when she's talking normally. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, devil. <laughs> this is unsurprising. She, she is a devil, yes. The news devil. She's the only person that I told to go punch herself upon forming a confidant. Rumor-filled scoop. Huh. Wow! Well, I mean, the decreases security level more overnight is sort of irrelevant. But yeah, yeah, generally. Getting, you know, a couple extra screw-ups could help. More importantly, now we get Devil Arcana Burst, which is important yes. because, and I'll get around to making it pretty soon, uh, the next request for the twins is a Devil type. So. Yeah. Oh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? I don't want people to know that my source is a high schooler. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> well, she's obviously a good friend. Right, right. Uh, and if you're a bar owner, especially a place like this, you are never going to uh, tattle. That's it's true, like, yeah. This is your, this is part of your job, is to be there for your clients. Yeah. I mean, customers. Same difference. May as well, especially with someone who spends as much as her. I mean, for all we know, Oya is like like 20% of the revenue of Crossroads, so. What's wrong with your source being a high schooler, especially if it's about this? Hmm. I mean. I don't know. If the head of, or if the guy, if, you, if the admin of the fan site Maybe the, credi cred the credibility of the source might be called into question if they know it's a high schooler. But where else are you going to get a source? Who else but a high... Well, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, that logic and, like, higher-up mentality don't necessarily always coincide. <laughs> well, right. But that. But also what I was saying is, like, assuming a certain truth, yeah, which yeah. is the truth, but who else is going to assume that? Doesn't matter. I'll shut up now. <laughs> okay, lala -chan. Time to celebrate our agreement. Can I have one too? <laughs> and two glasses, please. She's got her own bottle, huh? Oh, come on, please. Whoa, her silence is golden. <laughs> Just staring her down. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. I won't make the high schooler drink. Oh, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh man, so romantic. My kind of girl. Ah, oh, she's gonna be in there for a while. <laughs> <She's> <laughs> <laughs> oh! How oh, interesting! That's good too. Oh my gosh! Will it ever go up? All right. <laughs> well, Billy. Yes. We started this episode with a plan. The plan was to alternate between dungeon episodes and daily episodes. We end the episode by rejecting that same plan. Ah, uh, well, you know, our plans usually don't come to fruition. That just seems to be how it works, doesn't it? Uh, basically, we just really need Friday, Saturday, and Sunday confidants. Yeah. 
practice. Like, desperately? I mean, we really want to get Chihaya started, but we're not going to be able to because we really want to get Kawakami. Yeah. So, next time we'll be starting with Weekend Confidants, and then we'll go to the dungeon. We one, promise. One of these days we'll plan on doing something, and it will work out all according to plan. Do you believe us? I don't. Hey, look, it's a tape dispenser. Oh god, we didn't keep that, did we? <laughs>